brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. Joining with you and I head men's basketball coach Ben Jacobson. As his Panthers are coming off a 90-80 win over 16th ranked St. Bonaventure. The Panthers did it on the road. Coach, uh, just talk about that road trip, how good it was for you guys to go out east and play some really good competition. Yeah, St. Bonaventure's got a terrific team. They, they return all five starters from last year's team that uh, was in the NCAA tournament. Uh, it, it's a group that uh, they, they've just got so much experience. All, all five guys are, um, I believe, our fifth-year seniors. and uh, So a terrific team. I, I think they will be inside of the top 25 all year long, a team that's going to be in the NCAA tournament. They, they have the kind of group and experience that can win NCAA tournament games. So to, to go out there and play the way that we did, Brad, was, uh, was great. You know, really, really proud of the guys. Just our, uh, you know, the confidence that we played with, uh, the way in which we attacked them, uh, felt like we, we were able to put pressure on St. Bonaventure for the majority of the game. You know, they, they obviously had to run in the second half, you know, which was, uh, uh, but they're going to do that. They're good enough to do that. So, but outside of that period of time, that, that six, seven minutes where they put the run on in that second half, Brad, I, I felt like we just put, uh, you know, put constant pressure on them, which was, uh, which was fun to see. The offense looked uh, as good as it uh, has all season long. Uh, the Panthers shot better than 50% from the floor. Uh, 15 made three-pointers in that. What did you see from the offense that was creating that high percentage? Yeah, our, our, our movement uh, was really good. Uh, the, the pace that we played at was really good. Uh, our passing was really good. Uh, we, we worked to get to... Um, just continued to get to next action with, with what we're doing offensively. Uh, those were the things that led to uh, you know, some, of the, some of the shots that we were able to get. Uh, and then obviously AJ had to you know, finish the first half. Uh, you know, he, he got 17 points in about three and a half minutes. He got, he got uh, you know, 17 points on six possessions, which is almost unheard of. And, yeah. and uh, so that, that got us out to the lead, of course. And, and he had a terrific game. But I, um, hand in hand with that, he made some great passes. One in the first half, and they've got a, a long jump shot in the corner. Uh, in the second half, and they've got a three at the top of the key. And there were other guys that made good plays and it finished with them making a great pass. That led to a shot, and AJ was part of that as well on both sides of it. So um, again, it, it really goes back to you know, our movement, our passing, um, and then AJ's you know, stretch. And then he hit some big shots in the second half. You know, Didn't have as many looks, um, but made some really important shots in the second half. AJ finished with a team high 35 points. Uh, you we're kind of learning to, we can expect that from AJ uh, on any given night, uh, but you kind of talked about his passing, just him developing his overall game. Uh, he's really trying to hit that next level. Yeah, his his presence is what's most important. Yeah, you know, and our uh, and how our team plays is what's most important. Uh, not just to, you know, you know, for everybody on our team, right? And that that uh, that that's what we saw uh, again from AJ is you know the way they guard him. Uh, there are other guys that are going to get shots. You know the amount of help that that uh, that that teams will provide in order to keep him from getting touches or. If he does get by and, and, and gets uh, gets downhill, as we saw with some of their rotations, other guys are going to be open. We've talked about that. You know, I've talked about it with this team. We have. We feel like we've got a really good roster, right? And that that we've got a you know, we have got a roster um, full of guys that it, that can make plays. And so we're going to do that as a team. You know, I, we're not going to wait for AJ to do everything. AJ's not going to look to do everything. We're going to do this as a team. We just happen to have one of the best players in the country, in AJ, who's capable of doing what he did the other night. But it also included his passing, and it included other guys making big shots. You've got uh, good production from your starter so far, but in that win over 16th ranked St. Bonaventure, great production out of your bench as well. Bowen Bourne coming off the bench, uh, Noah Carter, and Cole Henry giving you some really valuable minutes. Yeah, they did, and, and Antoine, you know, Antoine, I thought played yeah. well. You know, so yeah. we had we had all four of those guys come in and, and play well for us, and we felt going into this game that that was going to be important. You know, we think going forward that it will be one of the strengths of this team is our depth um, and the quality of our depth. Um, but St. Bonaventure was going to play those five starters, and they did. Uh, they, they're going to play those guys most of the game, and I felt like the down the, the last seven, eight minutes of the first half that our depth had helped us. Um, and then also, you know, maybe the last, um, after they got the game tied, you know, they, they, they used a lot of energy to get to that point. 
Um, and we had played a lot of guys. And so that, that last seven, eight minutes of the ball game, you know, I think it helped us as well, being able to do it over the course of the 40 minutes. How do you like how the team is rebounding? Taiwan Pickford led the way with nine rebounds uh, in that game against St. Bonaventure, but you're getting it from a number of different guys. Nate Heisey's been all over the boards. Yeah, you know, Ty's, Ty's off to a great start. You know, he played well at Arkansas. Uh, he played well against St. Bonaventure. Uh, his numbers in terms of rebounding have been really good to get five offensive rebounds. And, you know, he had a big one on a free throw against uh, in the St. Bonaventure game. You know, to be able to go and get that one, we, gave, we made a three-point shot uh, on that possession, and that was later in the game. So he's just making a lot of big plays. And, you know, what I, what I love about what Taiwan is doing, um, you know, he made a big three under five minutes, uh, but that was one of the handful of shots he, that he took you know, during the course of the basketball game. So he's he's doing a little bit of everything. You know, he's he's uh, um, and he's, he's just doing a great job of uh, um, of making things happen in a lot of ways. All right, we'll have more coming up here with Coach Jacobson as the UNI Panthers coming off a top 20 win over St. Bonaventure. Stay right here to Panther Sports Talk.